somebody did not protect their documents correctly. And because of that, this may be the biggest leak in Microsoft history. And as a result, somebody's pretty much going to be getting fired. So what happened yesterday? So uh, there's a current ongoing investigation and a court case between Microsoft and FTC all over the acquisition of Activision, which is impossible to say anyway. But in the case of that, there was documents that were uploaded and somebody hacked into it. So I'm not going to share the specific documents and go for everything. I'll put links into where I get the initial source. Uh, the initial source where it came from is Synth Potato. So he was the guy who was really pushing around the Red Dead Redemption remake and was always had his finger on the pulse on it. So always good, always clear information. But some of the highlights, so you'll be seeing on screen right now. So what they've identified is they've got some full timelines, Xbox plan from now all the way up until 2030. Got some further information around Xbox trying to buy Nintendo, possibly Warner Brothers, you know, a potential Xbox handheld. So they've got a picture here as well, so you can see. And also there's mid-gen and next-gen Xbox dates, so 2025, 2025-8. So just to the initial highlights, that is massive. You know, these are really big things. It's not as though it's simply, okay, brilliant, you know, we're going to get a new Spyro 2 update, and I'm fully aware that's PlayStation, not Xbox. But it's actually real specifics and great details. You know, it's really, for us consumers, it's great to know. We've got Oblivion 3 and Fallout 3 remasters, remakes, Red Dead 2, next gen update. So that's straight away what comes to my page on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it now. Red Dead 2, next update. So for me, that's uh, a migration over to uh, PS5 and Xbox, obviously in this case. So there'd be an update, very similar to the GTA 5 version. So as a PC consumer, um, I'm not looking forward to it that much. It won't be that good. But if you are original on PS4 or PS5 or Xbox One, you know, the next gen or even sort of even on the new Xbox, Xbox X or whatever the hell it's called now, you know, it's great that you'll be getting going you know, 60 SPS. I can assume it'd be something like that. You know, better scale graphics, you know, which will be, it will make the game, all, however good it is right now, it will make it sumptuous. That's the only word we're going to say. Um, also, you've got Xbox Cloud Console and the next Series X. So there's like code names of Elwood and Next Series X, so the code name Brooklyn, Indiana Jones coming soon, Dishonored 3, uh, you got Next Doom game, so another new Doom and a new Doom of the franchise. Elder Scrolls 6 was originally planned for 2024, Ghostwire Tokyo 2. So some of the goals they're looking for, they're going to be trying to go for over 100 million Game Pass subscribers in the next eight years or less. So that's a significant goal. You got cloud gaming, smart TV app in, so you can share stuff on your TVs, and the new Elite controller in the plans as well. So you've got pictures of controllers as well, which look amazing. There's loads and loads of internal documents that have been leaked, and that's really simply due to improper filing. So where people haven't filed things or haven't classified certain stuff, people have hacked in, they've found it straight away. So um, pretty scary stuff if you're looking at it. Um, if we also have got here on the Game Pass tracker as well, so there's talks on here. If you look at the Game Pass tracker, you can look at Red Dead Redemption's here. So obviously the next gen version would be on there. There's talks of it of spending over 50 million just to get it on there. So that's a significant amount. Would Game Pass do it? We're not too sure, but looking at scheduled for releases. So you look at, you know, 2022, 2023, 2024. So even 2021, if we look here, you've got the one that really stands out. You've got Starfield, Elder Scrolls Online. So obviously we're looking last year, so Starfield was a year behind. Obviously you've got uh, mobile as well. You know, 2022 Indiana Jones game, Oblivion remaster. That would have been that would have been incredible. So a lot of you, if you do like Skyrim or like Oblivion, the original one. So for me, uh, I only came into the franchise at Skyrim, and then I tried to go back, and I could never get into it as much. Probably just because of the graphics and stuff. But an Oblivion remake or remaster would be incredible. But we do know what remasters are like recently. They never normally land properly. But Elder Scrolls Six sounds great fun. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, obviously. Uh, and then obviously Doom Year, that's all scheduled for next year and stuff. But if we look at some of the previous ones, so look at 2022, they haven't been released in 20, only been released a year later. So I'm not keeping my hopes up too much on that, which we're looking obviously a year delay. It's a really quick video, guys, just really to look at, you know, what's going to happen. What do you think the repercussions are? Do you think they're going to come out? Do you think they're going to say something? Or do you think there'll be just complete radio silence if we won't hear anything? So it's great we're not just forgetting about Red Dead Redemption 2. And I know a lot of you are going to say, you're a Red Dead Redemption 2 channel. Well, it started like that way, but this is a lot of different content we're putting on here now as well. You know that's probably one of my favourite games of all time, so I'm going to be talking about it when it comes up in conversation. 
You know, for Rockstar, it's a massive game, a massive franchise. I think they let themselves down a little bit with Red Dead Redemption 1. You know, that was a massive opportunity to tone back into the market, you know, thinking for Red Dead Online, how they could have worked with it. It wasn't successful. Well, how can I put it? It wasn't the output that we all wanted. I'm not saying it wasn't successful. You know, it was still purchased and stuff, but it could have been insanely hypeful. But it's good, obviously, we're still thinking about Redemption 2. You know, does it feel, I know there's been talks of Red Dead Redemption 3. That's going to be a long way down the line. So let's use as much as we possibly can. You have know, next-gen uh, next graphics. I'm working on that as well, guys. So let us know what you think. Let us know if you think, you know, it'll be coming this year, this year, next year. And will you be buying it? Will you be buying it? Worst case, let's just pray for this guy. Because I'm pretty sure whoever it is, they'll be losing their jobs. I'll catch you in the next one, guys.